So there's a couple different ways that we can calculate standard deviation. Uh, one of them is the slow drawn out method by uh, writing it out by hand. Uh, and fortunately, um, Excel and TI uh, 83, 84s, uh, 89s, whatever TI you have, can usually calculate uh, standard deviation for us. And it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to walk through the steps using this uh, emulator here to show how uh, you can actually do this on your calculator. And so the first thing you need to do is input your data. And that's the first step that you need to do that. And so to do that, you want to, on your calculator, hit STAT. And as I click things on the calculator, the keys that I show or that I, that I click are going to show up here. Hopefully, if I don't make any mistakes, uh, they'll all be in order correctly that you can follow along. Uh, so I've hit STAT. And the next thing that I want to do is to go and select edit. So I'm just going to press enter because my cursor is already there on edit. I'm just going to press enter. And it's going to bring up uh, basically where I can input different sets of data. And so this would be one set of data, a second set, and a third set. Um, you can do one at a time. You can do two at the same time. I'll show you how to do both of those. Uh, for our example, we're going to put in two sets of data. We could assume that this is maybe our x, this is our y. Let's say we're maybe comparing the height and weight of two different bird species, or we are comparing the number of chocolate chips and two different types of cookies, uh, whatever it may be. And so I'm going to put in some numbers here for our L1. The first one that I'm going to put in is 2, press enter, and 3, press enter, 1, press enter, and 4, press enter. Those, so those are my numbers. Now I want to put in the L2 or the Y values, the second set of numbers. So I'm going to move over on my cursor. And my second numbers are 5, 6, 5, and 5. Now that all of our data is entered, uh, we want to go back to the stat menu. So I'm going to click stat again on my calculator. And this time, rather going than, uh, than going to edit, I want to go to calculate. So I'm going to click the over button. And because we've put in two different sets of data, uh, we're going to do the two variable stats, which is number two on our option list here. If for whatever reason you had only put in one set of data, you'd want to do the one variable stats, number one. So I'm going to click down. And now our two variable stats is highlighted. I'm going to press enter. And if I press enter again, it's going to calculate all of this information for me. Uh, the first number that you see there is the mean. So the mean of our numbers that we put in for our first one is 2.5. The standard deviation is this S of X, and that equals 1.29. And so our standard deviation is calculated for us. The N is the uh, number of number in our sample, so the number of observations. Um, if I push the down arrow, here is our two variable stats, uh, push a little bit more. So you can see it's now S of Y, which makes it a little bit different there at the X and Y. Uh, the Y, the mean is 5.25, and the standard deviation of the Y, our second group of data, is 0.5. And so the calculator calculates all of this for us, and it makes finding the standard deviation pretty simple and pretty quick and pretty easy. Uh, you can also do this with Excel um, in some other videos that I have on my website. It walks through the steps for these. Uh, but on the IB Biology exam, you obviously can't use Excel, but you can use TI calculators uh, up to a specific uh, version. So knowing how to calculate standard deviation uh, and eventually t-tests on your TI calculators will be very helpful.